So one of the last things we have to do before we take our pot off the wheel is we just have some of this excess clay here that we kind of left so it would have some extra structure, a little strength to hold up the walls as we brought them up. But now we're going to take this uh, little uh, clay cart, or like wooden uh, knife basically, and holding it like a pencil, I'm just going to come in here and spin the wheel real slowly. And I always touch it to the wheel first, and then I just slowly carve in. I brace it with my other hand. See how my other finger is right here? And I cut in a fair way, it's almost undercutting a little bit underneath, like that. And then I cut this away just very slowly, turning the wheel and pulling that away. You can turn the wheel by hand too, if you need to, like this if you feel uncomfortable with that rapid spinning motion. If you feel like you have a little bit more control that way. And then you're gonna kinda use a wet finger or you can use a sponge to just smooth that piece up right there. Take any excess water off the surface of it. And your pot is finished. Now in this case, we'll just go one step further if we wanted. If we wanted to make kind of a wider bowl shape out of this, I'm just going to actually pull this open a little bit. Really gently, really slowly. Kind of a nice shape that I like. See how I'm supporting the wheel from the outside? And that's it. That just gives us a nice little cereal bowl. And always keep in mind your, your uh, pottery will shrink depending on your clay. It'll shrink anywhere between 5 and 10 percent. So this is going to be a really small bowl, but it could be like for salsa or something like that. And the last thing you do is take your clay wire again, spin the wheel nice and slow, and again, grabbing over the wire like this, and then stretching till you, your fingers hit the wood, and then just wrap two fingers like this. Hold it tightly with your thumbs, hold it flat against the wheel, and then slowly slice through. Once it's free, you want to stop the wheel and make sure you get that wire out from underneath the wheel first before you, before you let go of the wire. That's important. Now your pot is free. You can either leave it on the bat like this and just set it aside to dry or if you need to keep it moist for some other purpose like you're going to decorate the surface, do stamping or something, you can wrap it in plastic. It's usually a good idea to let it dry for about 20 to 30 minutes so that it's not completely wet. Because you'll notice this is very soft. Actually, if I go on this wall, you can see it. See how flexible that is? But then if your pot is small enough and sturdy enough, you can actually just lift it off like that. Although you'll see with this, it caused some distortion. So this may be a little bit big for that. Although, if you're really gentle, you can always kind of straighten it back out and smooth out your rim. One thing I just wanted to show you though, because we're done with this pot, we'll basically let this dry. But to give you an idea of what it'll look like, what the walls and the thickness of the walls looks like, I'm just going to do a nice cross section for you here. And I'd encourage you to try this with your pot from time to time. Because this way you can kind of test yourself, see where your skills are, see how your thickness of your walls is doing. But if we can get a close up here, there you can see kind of a nice profile of the wall. See how it's a, it's a little, oops I'm looking at the wrong side, <laughs> it's a little thicker down here just enough to give it some support. And if we're going to trim this on the wheel later by drying it and flipping it over, we're going to trim a little bit of that off. 
and then you have a nice even thickness all the way up through the walls and then just a slightly heavier rim. You can go even a little heavier sometimes on the rim. And then when you get even better at throwing pottery, you can even thin some of this, depending on the pot that you're doing. But that's, what you, that's how it's done. And I encourage you just to keep practicing and happy potting.